guys, Kikamoni back with a, another review for you tonight. So um, tonight I am doing another box wine review. Um, I was at the grocery store the other day and I discovered a new flavor by Franzia, one of my favorite box wines. I've done a few of their videos now, um, but I have never seen this before. And there's been a few other box wines that I have, far back as it goes. There's a few other box wines that I have reviewed from Franzia. Um, other flavors that I've tried and just haven't reviewed yet, but um, enjoy. But I have never found this before. This is a Sauvignon Blanc. There it is. Check it out. I don't know if anybody else has ever seen this in the grocery store before. If you have, please make a comment. This was a new find for me. I'm not sure if this is just a new flavor that they put out. Obviously, Sauvignon Blanc is not a new flavor in general, but I've never seen it from Franzia before, so I was really excited and uh, had to try it. So um, I am sampling it right now. So this is a bright and crisp wine with notes of grapefruit and lemon zest. And I say that I definitely picked that up when I tried this. It definitely has like a nice citrusy, bright smell to it. And then I definitely taste the grapefruit, absolutely, on uh, tasting it. Yeah, like 100%. And you know what? Maybe the lemon zest too, I don't know. It's bright, it's citrusy. It's got like a nice dry, sharp note to it. Um, it's very good. I just, I love Franzia. I, I've commented this on every wine box, <laughs> box wine video that I've done. It's just such a great value and that I really enjoy. Plus the quality is wonderful. Like if you have gone and paid more for more expensive wines in restaurants or stores or whatever, and then you try something that's less expensive and you're like, my gosh, I could have been just having that the whole time. It makes you wonder why you haven't been. So, now Franzia does this cool thing where they do a little meter on the side, if you will. Can you see it right there? So it shows like body and sweetness and what it pairs well with. So this particular wine is light bodied. Uh, and in comparison, I think their Chardonnay is medium bodied and that's like more of a, a little heavier, you know? Uh, but anyway, light bodied, and then it's between dry and medium dry, which I really enjoy. And it says it pairs well with turkey burgers, crab cakes, and lounge chairs. How cute is that? That we throw in the little cute one. As always, it stays fresh for about six weeks after opening. <laughs> like this is gonna last six weeks, I love that. Uh, smaller carbon footprint than glass bottles and less packaging and waste with Francia wine tap. Now I'm laughing, not because of their comments, but look at my like caveman opening here of my box of wine. So that was clearly a night when I'm trying to like hammer my way into this thing. Um, some people may have thumbs strong enough to just break into these boxes, but I do not. My weapon of choice for opening box wine is the soft, round handle end of our can opener. Um, I just like bludgeon my way in because there's a little round hole where the spout goes and it just, it pops it out perfectly and then I work my way around the semicircle, if you will, to open the rest of it. And clearly I was not being so careful this night. I'm just like bam, 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 let me into the wine box. Um, anyway, I love this. This might be one of my new favorite flavors. It's not as widely available as some of the other flavors. Um, I've only seen it at one store so far, and uh, you know, Chardonnay is widely available. Uh, there's their uh, Pinot, Pinot Grigio Columbard, hopefully I'm saying that right, uh, flavor. I've seen it at several different stores, but Sauvignon Blanc, I've only seen just at the one store. And I've seen, I saw it twice actually. The first time it was really expensive so I did not 
try it. It was like $19 the first time I saw it for this box and I'm like, huh, no way. The second time, this time when I actually bought it, it was like $13. So I thought, well, today's the day I'm trying it. I'm glad I did. It's delicious. Cheers, everyone. If you're uh, box wine fans or if you're a Sauvignon Blanc fan and you want to take a chance on a delicious, inexpensive wine, this is the one. And apparently, it's the world's most popular wine. So I'm not alone. <laughs> uh, anyhow, I definitely suggest it. And, you know, it has a Best Buy date on here of November of this year. So that's interesting. But uh, anyway, if anybody is interested in trying it, please do and make a comment. If you also enjoy this wine or maybe you just enjoyed my video here, shoot me a thumbs up. And if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. Um, I recently learned that 95% of the people watching my videos are not subscribers. So if you're watching it and you enjoy it, hit that little subscribe button and uh, make it known. Anyway, I hope everyone's doing great. We've got 4th of July right around the corner. And uh, looking forward to that. Make the best of it during this crazy time. And uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Babbling on a little bit because for me, it is a Friday night on a Thursday, which makes it even better. And I'm enjoying it. So thanks so much for watching and cheers, everybody. Happy almost 4th of July. And try yourself some Franzia Sauvignon Blanc. Take it easy.